Beer Mountain Blend. So 16 gauge is just like the, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. No, I'm not down on it. I'm just saying yeah. it's just like the. It's not like the most user friendly thing in the world. They're phasing it out. No, because they're still putting guns out in 16 gauge for guys who need to feel a little different. Wow, that could be true. That could be true. There you go. So you can crank them out once you get rolling. Once you get rolling. When we were kids and we'd reload these, our crimps never right. So we always try to be real careful to keep it upright. Because you're if you just put them in your pocket, <laughs> yeah, by the time you went hunting, yeah. your shots would all sound kind of different. <laughs> yeah, and you'd have just BBs all over in your pocket and your vest. You know? Yeah, if you just kind of get one speed and you don't forget to put a shell in somewhere, you just get like a rhythm like... Boom. Oh, you know what? Do me a favor, dump a load in my hand. So Ron, every time you pull the trigger, when we're dove hunting, yeah. you will be sending 480 little itty bitty odd shaped hunks of ways. lead in his direction. I wonder if my shot makers Making sub size shot. <laughs> it's making every size shot from the looks at it. All right. This is a blend. People yeah. pay good money for blended loads. They do. They got it all. And how do you miss? Because you didn't double your lead. You didn't double your lead. So, why do you think that the 16 gauge fell out of favor? You know what? I'll, I'll probably just blame the 12 gauge on it. I know it was like the most popular cartridge in Europe, and sometimes things that are popular in Europe just never, like French fries, never catch on. 